Have you ever wondered about the concept of Greater Israel and its implications on global politics? This intriguing idea, shrouded in layers of history, religion and political ideology, is not a straightforward one. It's not an official policy of the State of Israel, but a concept that has sparked heated debates and controversies in the international arena. Greater Israel is a term often associated with certain political and ideological views. These views are often rooted in interpretations of religious texts, historical claims, and can vary greatly, leading to differing opinions on what territories it encompasses. The mention of Greater Israel can evoke an array of emotions and reactions, depending on one's perspective and understanding of the Middle East complex political landscape. So what is this Greater Israel all about? What territories are often associated with it? And why does it matter in global politics? Let's delve deeper into the territories often associated with the concept of Greater Israel. When we talk about Greater Israel, which territories do we refer to? The term Greater Israel is often associated with a complex tapestry of territories, each with its own historical, political and cultural significance. This concept, it must be emphasized, is not an official position or policy of the State of Israel. Rather, it's a notion rooted in certain political ideologies and interpretations of religious texts. The first territory we'll explore is Israel proper. This refers to the current internationally recognized borders of the State of Israel. It's the heart of the nation, housing the bustling cities, serene landscapes and the cultural hubbub that is so quintessentially Israeli. Next on our journey is the West Bank, a territory nestled on the western bank of the Jordan River, inclusive of East Jerusalem. The status of the West Bank is a contentious issue in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, with both sides laying claim to this land. Our path then leads us to the Gaza Strip, a coastal territory that flanks Israel and Egypt. This strip of land, while small, plays a significant role in the region's geopolitics. It's currently governed by the Palestinian political and militant group Hamas. In some discussions, our journey might even extend to the Sinai Peninsula, a landmass that currently forms part of Egypt. However, the inclusion of Sinai Peninsula in the concept of Greater Israel is far less common and not widely supported. As we traverse through these territories, it's crucial to underscore that the idea of Greater Israel is highly controversial and not part of Israel's official policies. The State of Israel has been involved in numerous peace negotiations, at times even discussing territorial concessions, in an effort to establish peaceful relations with its neighbors. Most of the international community, including various Israeli leaders, advocates for a two-state solution, where Israel and a prospective Palestinian state coexist peacefully. The concept of Greater Israel, as interpreted by some fringe groups or individuals, does not reflect mainstream diplomatic efforts or official policies. It's important to remember, these territorial delineations are not officially recognized and are a subject of intense debate. So, what does the concept of Greater Israel imply and why is it controversial? Greater Israel, as a concept, is more than just a geographical area. It carries with it a host of political, religious and historical implications that are worth unpacking. This idea, though not officially recognized by the State of Israel, is often associated with certain political and ideological views. These views are often rooted in interpretations of religious texts and historical claims, and they can be quite divisive. The controversy around Greater Israel stems from its potential implications for the Israeli-Palestinian conflict one of the most enduring and complex disputes of our time. The territories that are typically included in the concept of Greater Israel, such as the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, are hotly contested lands. They are seen as key to the establishment of a future Palestinian state, a prospect that a majority of the international community supports. The concept of Greater Israel thus, is seen as a hurdle to the two-state solution, a diplomatic framework that envisions Israel and a future Palestinian state existing side by side in peace. This solution is supported by various Israeli leaders and a large segment of the international community, who believe that it provides the best hope for lasting peace in the region. Moreover, the concept of Greater Israel is also controversial due to the potential human rights implications. 
Expanding Israel's borders to include the territories mentioned could potentially displace hundreds of thousands of Palestinians, a prospect that raises serious ethical and legal questions. It's crucial, however, to emphasize that the idea of Greater Israel is not part of Israel's official policies. The State of Israel has engaged in various peace negotiations and discussions, sometimes involving territorial concessions, in an effort to resolve the conflict and establish peaceful relations with its neighbors. The concept of Greater Israel, though discussed by some fringe groups, does not represent mainstream diplomatic efforts or official policies. This is a nuanced issue, with many layers of historical, political and ideological complexities. A deeper understanding of these complexities is key to fostering a more informed and productive dialogue on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict.